Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. He's Blake. I'm Jeff. And we are back with another episode of Madoka Magica. Episode number 11, the penultimate episode. Mm. Almost to the end. Uh, we got a big piece of the puzzle in the last episode. We got to see at least a handful. We don't know if it's all of them. We got to see multiple timelines in which Hamura has gone back repeatedly in order to try to thwart Monica from, well, at first it was to thwart Monica from dying. Mm -hmm. Then Monica herself gave her a mission. She had a group, one, she lied and told her she didn't have any grief seeds, but she had one and she healed Hamura and then told her to go back and make sure that she did not become a magical girl which explains exactly why Hammer is doing what she's doing in the current timeline. Yeah. Which, you know, we theorized, but now we are sure exactly what it is and who it came from. So all those different timelines, people died over and over and over again repeatedly. Hammer kept getting better, stronger, faster, uh, using lots of weaponry. Yeah. Lots of real world. Yeah. Big ass guns, guns and shotguns She's and building her, building own, her bombs. own bombs and stuff. It's great. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Um, but we have reached a moment in our current timeline in which, as has happened before, only she and Monica are left. Mm-hmm. But Monica right now is not a magical girl and has not made a contract, or nor has she made a wish. So maybe this time is different. You know, like at this point in time, in all the other timelines we saw, she was a magical girl. Not true. That last one, she was like on the scaffolding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because they made like the... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like they, they made it all the way. Yeah, to yeah, that's true. All the way to that. Yeah, before she and did then it. she transformed. Yeah, she right, did, the, she did do it at the last so, second. Yeah, that's that's like the last moment one. Yeah. that like Hamura has to see that as she's, yeah, as she's falling. falling. Like, oh yeah. fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but that's true. You're right. Hmm. Okay, so we might just have a repeat of that again. Yeah. But the fact that this is the timeline we're watching, right? You would think Should, something yeah. has to work out differently yeah. this time. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the happy Not ending. be better, but it has to be different. Just different. So maybe, again, we said Hamura wins when she does not become a magical girl. Mm -hmm. Right? So maybe that is what's different. She doesn't do it. I mean, I guess the ultimate win in this, in her mind, would be she keeps Monica from becoming a magical girl, and then she is able to defeat the huge witch. But then, wouldn't she become? Wouldn't a witch? she become a witch? Just not as powerful as Monica. But, then but if she's powerful enough to beat that witch, right? Then yeah, exactly. Who's gonna stop her? Yeah, and then who's gonna stop her? See, that's what I'm saying. Left. I feel like it's fate. Yeah, there's no way out of it. Well, there's no way out except, except for that for wish. the wish. Yes, exactly. All right. Well, I'm intrigued. I want to know what happens. And there's still a movie. Yeah, there is a movie. So this could end with a fucked up ending, and then a bad timeline in another reset, the movie. and then the movie could be another. That's true. Timeline. You're right. And hmm. the movie is the one where it actually. Turns out good. Right. Well, then I guess we need to prepare ourselves for a bummer ending. <laughs> <laughs> for an infinity war of an ending right. so that we can watch Endgame. We, we can watch the Endgame, yes. All right. Are we ready? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Monica Magica. Episode 11 in the books, penultimate episode. What did you think? It's pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hamura learns from Kube that each time she has reset 
and made her focus on Monica, it has made Monica's latent magic potential greater exponentially every time. Yeah. Therefore, she is now basically destined to become the greatest witch if she makes a contract. But the way that things are, if she doesn't make a contract, then the witch is already going to kill everyone. Yeah. So again, it's all fate. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how they explained it, like how... How Cuba explains the like the karmic mm-hmm. strings that like are attached to her, basically. Like, right. Yeah. Like you've 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 caused too much like karmic weight. Yeah. You've made her too important. Yeah. Um, out of proportion to everyone else. Yeah. Therefore, now your fates have been intertwined, but you will forever be apart. It's like gravity. You okay. have your plane. Sure. You have your mass. Right. And it pulls the plane, right? Now everything okay. is moving towards it. So Hamra is increasing the mass of Madoka. Yeah. And it's making everything... It's a gravity well. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a black hole. It's like gravity. God damn it. Fucking bastard. Uh, <sighs> all right. Got a low two face. Well, we got Sayaka's funeral. Yeah. Um, they found her where, you know, the witch was destroyed. So therefore, she's not missing anymore. She was missing for a little while, but she's not anymore. But I they, would they demand an autopsy. Sure, but what's an autopsy going to tell you in this case? Is it going to tell you that she has no soul? In this case, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> There's, I mean, it's not going to tell you much. No. But that is an interesting question, right? Like, in real life, yeah. people have autopsies done. And, like, it's like, in one hand, yes, it's, it's good to have an autopsy because it can reveal you know, foul play, and then you, sure. can, you can catch an actual a criminal who's still maybe at large or whatever. Sure. But it also brings to light some nasty shit that's happened to this person. I mean, potentially, sure. Potentially. Yeah, of course. So, like, as a parent, it's kind of like... Well, I don't know. Would you rather know? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I think as a parent, you would rather know. A part of me is like, yeah, like I'd, I'd, I'd want to know everything. Like as, as terrible as it would be to learn some things, stop it. I'm just, hey, if you had a daughter. The world is a cruel, cruel place. Oh, I know. But worth fighting for. A girl worth fighting for. Mm. I mean, apparently Maddox is worth fighting for, so... I think Homer is, like, in love with her. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, okay, so th- that's what... The, I, I, I did like the scene towards the end where they... Where, when she was telling Monica who she was, what they've gone through, even though she knows Monica's probably not going to believe it and is likely to just think this girl is crazy. But the fact that she got to unburden herself a little bit and to be her true self was probably great for Hamura, right? But she also got to say, like, we got the idea from Kyube and stuff like that when when he was talking to her that, you know, she started out doing it for this reason. And that still sustains her. That is her reason. But like we talked about last time, it's possible that it's, it's gone beyond... I just want to save her to I have nothing else but to save her. Yeah. Right. And we know from Cube that she has done so much that now if she stopped, Mm -hmm. 
then she would become a witch. Yeah, which we so saw. So she can't, right? So she really can't stop. Like when she gives up, that's it. It's over. Yeah. They're both dead, basically. <laughs> or at least, you know. They're both, the world's not in a good place no matter what, apparently. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, dude, it's got to be the wish. That's the only thing that could possibly stop this cycle from continuing f- forever. Yeah. But it's like, how, yeah, is she going to wish for something stupid? Like, I wish Hamra doesn't have to go through this ever again. Is she going to do that? Like, hmm. although I don't hmm. think so because hmm. the message of this show the entire time has been make a wish for yourself. Right. I mean, they literally said that if the wishes are outside of or beyond reason, mm-hmm. then that's when it will inevitably cause distortion and will turn out badly. So then Monica could just just be, she could just say, I wish to never become a witch. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Couldn't you do that? <sighs> then and no she, matter she's what like, happens, she can never become a witch? Yeah, and she's like, I'm the most powerful magical girl now. There's not a witch in the world that could stand up to me. I'll never become a witch. Therefore, you've lost, Cubay. It's basically like Earth is no longer a viable place right. because now I'm its ultimate protector forever. Hmm. Or at least until she dies, right. naturally. Of course. Huh. Okay. That's one way. That's a way to do it. You become a fucking god. They said she had the potential to become a god. That's yeah. a way to become a god, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Or I wish there's no more witches. The only problem with that is it can be interpreted different. It can be... Well... I wish there was no such thing as witches. Yeah, you could say it that way, right? And then that, and then you're protected then as you're well. You're protected as well because, like, then basically no one can ever become a witch, and yeah. then witches can never exist. So that's what you say. But you're still a magical girl. Still a magical girl <laughs> with like unlimited power, and nothing to ever fight, and no way for your, well. But I guess it wouldn't matter because if you can't turn into a witch, it doesn't matter if your thing gets cloudy. Right. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. So it doesn't matter how much magic you use for anything. Yeah. Plus, you got nothing to fight. So. Yeah, you wouldn't need to use your magic. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely got to be her wish. Some Something with her wish is the only way to get out of this. Yeah. Because at the very end here, she's ready to do her contract. But she has to have thought of a way. Yeah, I mean, like the whole point of I think the whole point of this show has Cause been because now she has all the info. Yeah, and the whole I mean, the whole theme of this entire show has been yeah. thinking about the wish, making sure that you do something for you and not for someone else because that never works out. Right. But it's like yes, it's like give this some thought. Right. Like really think it through because here are all the examples of the people who didn't think it through and who just like impulsively kind of right went into something. True. And apparently all throughout human history. Yeah. So. Yeah, we saw like. Yeah, we saw Cleopatra. Cleopatra, Joan, Joan of Arc. Arc. Yeah. 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 All the young women throughout history. Is all the really powerful women, you know, like Cleopatra, Joan of Arc. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it'd make more sense if this was a magical boy show. Then I'd be like, oh, okay. That's sexist. Come on. Well, I mean, think about how many powerful men there have been throughout history. Sure. There are powerful women throughout history. Not a lot, though. There's more than you think. Name five. Cleopatra. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc wasn't even really powerful. Not really. But she was like a prominent As a figure. martyr, she's powerful. She was powerful in death. Yeah. But see, does that count? I mean, she did lead people on the battlefield. Because, so. like, a powerful martyr then could be, like, Anne Frank. Hmm. Okay. You know? Like if you, sure. It's just, like, these women that, like, their deaths... I'm have, just saying, we've had queens, dude. Queen Victoria. Yeah, but they're not powerful. Although she was old, so... They're not powerful either, though. They become queen because of, like... No, that was back when queens had power. 
Yeah, I mean, no, I mean they have power, but like they didn't, they didn't like rise to like king. Sure. Well, no, it's like it was given to them. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like in the beginning there were there were men who became kings. Well, yeah, of course. But like women didn't become queens. They didn't become rulers. They were Jesus you couldn't. Christ, You'd get fucking beat down. What a fucking sexist piece How of shit. How is that you are. sexist that if a woman tried to in the medieval fucking ages tried to rise to power that a man would fucking knock her ass well, down? Think back before the the Middle Ages, buddy. Okay. Let's think back to African warrior queens in Africa. Please. Come on. There's a movie coming out about that. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying. Yeah, I forgot about the time that the (laughs) African queens fought Atlantis. Hey, man. (laughs) Atlantis. No. There you go. We all, we've seen the Disney movie. It was a woman. It's true. Although I think she's like a princess, technically. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So apparently to you, that's stolen valor. What? Being a princess or a queen. It's not, it's not earned valor. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. It is. Jesus Christ. Even current kings and princes is stolen valor. If it's, if it's current, if you did nothing to earn it, it's just passed you by name, that's stolen valor. You were born into it. You don't deserve that title just because you're born into hey, it. Your blood is more pure than others. I don't believe that's in That's not even true for aristocracy. That's for the, no, no, no. I don't no. believe in that shit. I don't believe in monarchies. and. <sighs> we don't have to believe in it if they exist. Well, they shouldn't. Well. They should be torn okay. down. Oh, hey. Let's not get off on that. Um. Okay. Well, we are set. Yeah. Hammer could not beat the witch no matter how hard she tried. No matter how much pre-thought and planning she had. Let me ask you something. Okay. Ask me a question. Thank you. How did she set all of that up? Well, number one, she can stop time. (laughs) Yeah, but come on. Number two, she's fought it before, so she knows where it's going to be. No, that's not what I'm asking. How did she, a girl... Come, why are you going to be sexist? I'm, I'm using she's girls... She's a to... magical girl, first of all. Okay. Therefore, she's better than any man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Please. I mean, she's better than you. A magical girl, an eighth grader magical girl, yeah. is probably equal in strength to like a 35-year-old male who does... No medium workout no she is equal in strength as an eighth grade magical girl Mm -hmm. to Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime okay so again not more powerful than a man she's more powerful than 99.9% of men you said it yourself but there could be one man exactly (laughs) Jesus Christ that's that's a victory in your mind (laughs) As long as there's one man left who's more powerful than all women on the planet. Uh, guys, That's guys, all that matters. Guys, please eviscerate him. But, but, Modica is about to tip the scale. Yeah, Modica definitely is more powerful than any man. Maybe. No, Unless Arnold Schwarzenegger is. and Muhammad Ali. No. And Mike Tyson got together. No. And Rambo. <laughs> Not Sylvester Stallone. Rambo. Rambo. Right. I got you. <laughs> if they got together, she probably doesn't stand a chance. No, I think one shot, she takes them all out. Actually, if we're being honest, I don't think she can take out John Wick. Yeah, that's true. Well, mm. but that's, you know, uh, that's John Wick. Right. That's, a, that's And a... let's just pretend like... The two of them are on continental ground, so they can't fight each other. Right, they can never fight each other. Yeah. We'll never know what happens. We'll never know. Yeah, yeah. That's no. Okay. Well, then, you know, I'm okay with that. John Wick is a powerful man. He is a formidable opponent. Yeah. And you talk about planning, he can plan. Yeah. So maybe... She knows John Wick, or she watches John Wick movies. Okay, fine. If she knows John Wick, I'll give it to her. So you're okay with it as long as she learned it from a man. 
As long as she received help from a man, I'm okay with God it. Damn it. Yeah. Guys, light light him up in the comments. It's a like, goddamn massage. I'm just no, come on. We know it's all jokes. I'm just saying that if how did she move like cannons and huge like how did she set up that wall of like missile things? Okay, well she did it like one at a time. This is like the building the pyramid shit all over again. No, because she literally has like infinite time. You know what? She had help from aliens. And you can't argue that because we already know aliens exist aliens in this universe. Aliens exist in this universe, you're right. Okay. There you go. And then that way it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a race of, of women alien. Okay? I mean, that's better. Females are always better than men. No. They're not. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> better in what way? Every way. Wow. You think women are better drivers than men? Yeah. I, I, I saw a fucking a little tear come out of your eyes. You lied there. Yeah. Never. Do so you think your wife is a better driver than you? <laughs> well, we weren't comparing them to me. Mm, okay. I'm comparing them to the average person. You think your wife's better than the average man at driving? I think she's safer than the average man. She drives very safely. Yeah, but... I don't know that I consider that better <laughs> because I like to drive very fast yeah. everywhere I go. I think as long as your defensive driving is strong, you're okay. Yeah, which my defensive driving is amazing. Yeah. So... But... So is mine. I just carry a gun with me. See, I have the guns built into my car. Nice. With James Bond. Sweet. It's the way to do it. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> okay, well. Um, okay. Stage is set. Monica seems about ready to make a contract and make a wish to, I assume, put an end to this game. God forsaken cycle. What the fuck? What was that? I don't know. Something like pop. Was it my Gatorade? Uh, Why would it pop? The like bottle. Like, flexed Did you something. like like push it in a little bit somewhere? No, I usually don't squeeze anything. I was like weird. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes the life's a mystery. Hmm. All right. I think that does it for this episode. See you guys in the next one.